You want to know the secret to what? a long-lasting what? relationship? What? You don't say stuff like, <laughs> you said that to the random stranger. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the old lady? I don't think your family would allow that. <laughs> Ask your mom. Would you allow Alex to be frozen and have, have a pose, a pose when, when he dies? Happy Monday, Alex. Happy Monday, Roy. So in conclusion, yeah. as I was saying, that's why I think having tapeworms is like having a Pokemon. <sighs> You know? I, I guess. How was your weekend? Weekend's great, man. I started doing this thing called Cold Plunge. Ooh. Dude, apparently it's been around for a while. I, I know you had a Cold you. Plunge. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. Is it like a cult thing? Is it like a cult following thing, this Cold Plunge I thing? I don't know. It's it's interesting, and it it rarely gets easier. A little bit. I don't think people understand this, but Cold Plunge makes you feel amazing yeah it makes you feel absolutely amazing like your your mood elevates yep your immunity increases you just feel like the systems in your body all just like get a boost are we supposed to be submerged in cold water alex so i've already explained this to you this yeah. weekend when we did the ice sure. plunge but this is why people ice plunge it's because when you get you put your body in the cold water you go into fight or flight mm. By the way, what? there's also two other ones. I can't remember one, but I remember freeze. There's fight, flight, freeze, and then there's one more I can't remember. Flesh. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you get in the cold plunge, your body goes to fight or flight, and all the blood from your limbs and extremities go to your organs to keep you alive because they think you're in danger. Yeah. So then it's getting pumped through your heart, pumped through your lungs, it's getting all oxygenated and stuff, and then that's why when you're in there, you want to mentally think, I'm okay. I'm okay. Even mm. though you know you're okay, you have to remind your body and your mind that you're okay so that it can calm down faster. And then you stop like, <gasps> it calms down and you can relax. Um, and then when you when you get out, all that oxygenated blood goes back to your limbs. It starts healing you, inflammation and all that stuff. So that's why it's a recovery thing. Dude, I wish I knew this a long time ago because I feel great, man. Yeah. I feel absolutely great mm -hmm. you know you know you, can i tell you something what something happened this weekend Ooh. i made a huge mistake oh my god alex it was bad what did you do this it was time? almost bad okay i'm at the store okay i'm at the mall yeah i'm with my girlfriend lovely lovely girlfriend alexis we start talking about kids mm -hmm. and she's like hey uh kids right and i was like yeah you know it'd be cool if we had twins she's like you know what twins are in my family but i don't want them and i was like what why twins would be awesome and she was like i'm not trying to carry them and i was like oh and she said i would be huge mm. and i said no 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 i would be huge and then she said what and i was like nothing 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 <laughs> you would be huge. Yeah. No. Wait, are you like you would be... figure it out? Figure it out. Uh, okay, you try making a joke because you would be effing huge. <laughs> Why would you say that, Alex? <laughs> she was mad at first, but then she she was like, "Oh, that's funny." Wow. It's a play on words. She I said know. it first. She but said you it don't first. Say that. I would never say that if she didn't say it first. That is a huge mistake. You're absolutely <laughs> correct. You should have never said that. <laughs> Well, she she saw the humor after, but uh, it took her a while to catch it, just like you did. You're you, like, wait, what? You want to know the secret to what? a long-lasting relationship? What? You don't say stuff like, <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> you. <laughs> that is the secret. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's not funny. It I'm only laughing because you're... Alexis, if you're listening to this, I'm only laughing because it's laughing. I asked her permission if I could say it on the <laughs> podcast. And she's like, yeah, go ahead. It was funny. Oh, no. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but that... I would prefer twins because you get two out at once. Yeah, I know. But she's... I said, would you rather have twins in one go or have yeah. two separate goes? She said two separate goes because... Like, you're going to be so big, it's going to stretch you out to yeah. where you, it's hard to come back. Like, you're going to be different. Yeah. Ultimately, it's up to the significance. Yeah. And uh, personally, I would support. Whenever Monette gets pregnant, yeah, I will be a slave to her. Me too. I will absolutely make sure she is fine. Can I get this? Absolutely. Yeah. Because nine months, they're going through hell. Yep. And that is the secret to a long-lasting relationship. 
if you, how about we, we make a gentleman's agreement that when your uh, significant other is pregnant, mm-hmm. you can ask me for anything. That you're going to do most of it, but if you're like, oh, you really can't, I don't have time to go get this, I'll go get it. And then same with you. If I'm like, oh, I'm so tired, I can't, I can't do it, then you have to go. Dang, down. the thing is I, I would love to, but I don't want to burden you with that responsibility. No, no, I'm Because it's my you. responsibility. Yeah, but I'm your backup. I'm on your team. So it's like... It's it's like I'm on your team. I'm like you're like oh I need to call reinforcements. That's me. If I absolutely need you, I will. Yes. Okay. Agree. And I'll be there. Vice versa. If you're like even if it's two a.m., you're like bro, I, I I have the baby. She's crying. She needs this, and I I can't I can't go. And I'm like oh yeah. Uh, if I I'll that's, try to wake up. That's the only time. Yeah. If yeah. That, there's that thin line that I really really need your help, yeah. I will. Look at this. Look, we're only t- like twelve minutes away from each other. I can always go get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to know the secret to long lasting friendship? Back up each other no matter what happens. Yep. No matter if that becomes a burden, they will be there for you. You know, you know that's where I get in the most trouble. What? It's when I'm backing up somebody. Huh? Because when I when I am like, if if something, if my significant other or my loved one or a friend is upset about something. I have their back no matter what, and I I go all in, even if they're wrong, and I know they're wrong. I'm still gonna get their back. Like, I was at the airport one time. Okay. And I was with a friend, and okay. she had a dog, and the dog was one of the dogs. Like, like they don't have a good rep. Okay. Like a pit bull. It wasn't a pit bull. Um. So it was like one of those dogs, and we're I, I'm at the desk, and she's walking, and then I just hear her and somebody going back and forth. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, uh oh. So they're not happy about it. They're arguing about something, and it's a stranger. Sure. So I walk over there. It's a Air Canada flight attendant, mm. and I'm like, what happened? And my friend said, she said that I should put a muzzle on the dog, and I was like, what? And then uh, they're going back and forth, and then I just snapped at her, and I said, how about we put a muzzle on you? You said that to the random stranger. Yeah, because <laughs> she was trying to tell her to put a muzzle on her dog. So I was like, you know what? How about we put a muzzle? It was an old lady. <laughs> what happened to the old lady? Uh, she just she said that she got bit when she was like, uh, a little a little girl or sure. something. And I was uh-huh. like, well, old lady bit me when I was little too. <laughs> How you feel about that? <laughs> Dude, you are the master of backing up people. <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Who tells that to an old lady? Well, I got bit by old lady. Yeah. Old lady. <laughs> You better not bite me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's it happens. It's not good. Um, not all the time, but yeah. well, like uh, uh, I had this ex one time. We broke up, and then another YouTuber said something, and it didn't bother me. Sure, because like it's a public relationship. Like it was known, but she wasn't happy about it, and she said something back on Twitter, and then I backed her up so hard that they they flagged my my tweet. My tweet got banned within like ten minutes. You. Stirred some tea? Wait, wait, you backed up, but it caused more drama? Is that what oh, no, I just went all in. And I was like, if, if you, oh. I, if I ever see you, blah, 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 blah. And it got taken down immediately. <laughs> because, like, I just black out. I don't think about it. I'm just like, I have to defend my friend. I have to help them out. Yeah. Where do yeah. you think that came from? What was the first instance that came from? Because I, no, knowing you, mm-hmm. so people who don't understand this, Alex, as long as I've known him, he's always been so supportive of his friends and always backed them up. When was the first time that triggered? Right? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's from anime, man. I think you watch <laughs> anime and like Goku freaks out when somebody punches his son or or Naruto freaks out when somebody says something about his friend. And I just, that was like ingrained in me. So now I just, you know, Alexander means protector of man. Really? Yeah. You know, Roy means king. Of of men? In, in, I don't know, in France. Oh. Roy means king. Nice. So you're a protector. So of you're man. my king, and I'm your protector. No. Yeah. I don't. I don't like seeing myself as like highly though. You'd be a good king. No. Yeah. No. You're very fair. I try to be fair. Yeah, I know. That's what a king does. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. There you go. Yeah, I'm learning this thing to 
accept compliments. You know what we haven't done is what? gotten to the point of this oh, video. Oh, yeah, the point of the video. Sorry, we've been rambling. <laughs> this always happens. It's just like whenever we don't see each other for the weekend, we're just like, oh, it's nice to see you, man. <laughs> Even though we saw each other twice. So <laughs> <laughs> we did. I just didn't see you yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the point of this podcast, we really want to dive into our favorite things because I feel like a lot of people want to know some inside of our favorite things. Yeah. You may agree. You may not agree. Hopefully... You will be entertained. We're going to give you our favorite everything. Our favorite, favorite everything. food, favorite anime, favorite TV shows, favorite... Books? Bu books. <laughs> 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 I've only read five books in my life. I would probably say... Yeah. yeah. But I do read, I'll let you know, though. I have some good uh, book recommendations. You ever read Harry Potter, bro? No. <sighs> so good. I, I read Hunger Games. That was the one that I was the first time I got hooked on a book. No way. I, I read all of them and then I read them all again. <sighs> and then like five years later, movies came oh, out. Okay, okay, okay. I all hate right. it when it happens. We'll talk more about that later. But let's start with the first one, Alex. Okay. Let's do food. Because mm. you can tell a lot of personality of someone with their favorite food. Yep. So in your opinion, what are your top three Food genres. 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 Number one, Italian. You want to know my number one? What? Japanese. <gasps> it's so versatile. It is. There is a lot. Why Why Italian? I just like pasta mm -hmm. and meat and mm -hmm. creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. Sometimes marinara, not my favorite, but I'll, I'll go for it if I've mm -hmm. had too much cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like Japanese just because there's a healthy option, but you can go like unhealthy if you want with mm -hmm. like the fried fried chicken curry, fried pork curry, mm -hmm. ramen. You can mm -hmm. go unhealthy, but you got sushi. Mm -hmm. You got all the soups, you the got, udon. Is hibachi? Is that Japanese? That's Japanese Ooh. too. Teppanyaki. Oh, you can eat cake. Oh no, that's KBBQ. There's <laughs> Korean barbecue. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah. But there's Japanese barbecue too. Oh, okay. JBBQ. You ever had that? No. Japanese. Oh, JBBQ. Yeah, what? It's pretty good too. Oh, nice. Okay, where does Filipino food rank? Before we get to our second one, it's probably not second, right? It's probably no. It's it would be third. Third? Just because? Oh. Just because it, it's not the healthiest. Yeah. It is really good, mm -hmm. but they don't care about health in their food. Ethic. Dude, it's Eth so good. Yeah. So we fry a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a lot of uh, salt. Barely any vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just greasy meat and deliciousness and rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, 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 I've been craving Filipino food every now and then. Probably like once a month nowadays. Mm -hmm. Just because I had a, a lot growing up. But it always makes me... Filipino... I'll, let's see, look. Filipino food, it's delicious. But it's also a little unhealthy. Yeah. A lot of fried pork skin, um, a lot of salt. And... For me personally, every time I eat it nowadays, I get sleepy like an hour later. Yeah, and it sucks because I'm Filipino and I I love Filipino food, mm -hmm. but I hate the way it makes me feel after. Yeah, it's definitely in my top three, but it's not. It's mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Yeah. Like pancit. Oh. Ooh, I could eat it forever. Sinigang. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh, Sinigang number one. You like curry curry? Yeah. Oh. How about that menudo? You like menudo? Mm, right. How about lechon? I just want synagogue all the time, every day, forever and ever. Sodium to the max. <laughs> I eat it. Synagogue. Yeah. Synagogue is a tamarind soup for everybody who doesn't know it. It's like a sour soup, mm -hmm. I would say. What is it's it? Is so it bok choy or spinach? What is that? Anything. Bok choy, right? We use spinach, you can use bok choy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I eat all the greens in there too, just because it soaked up all the soup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For me, Filipino food ranks probably number five. I'm ordering synagogue tonight. We talked about it too much. You did? I am. <laughs> Hi. I am. My number two. You ready? Yeah. Italian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's pasta, dude. I love spaghetti. It's bread and pasta. I love, love, love spaghetti. Mm. I love food? gnocchi. That's my favorite. Italian. Oh. Uh, gnocchi with the pink sauce. Ooh. And oh. some chicken. Oh. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti is my number one. Number three. Number three? Mm. What's your number two? I feel like maybe is American a genre? Yeah, it is. I think American What is American? Food. Like salad? Like burgers. Oh, yeah. Salad. Technically, fries. burgers is German. Yeah, I but think? like, in it, like we say 
JBBQ, KBBQ. Do other parts of the world say ABBQ? No. They just say BBQ. I think so. So No, I think if you live in Korea, they say BBQ. Oh. If you live so in Japan, you say So they have to call ours something else then. If Probably BBQ. ABBQ. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, ABBQ no or RBBQ, racist BBQ, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> That's crazy. I never think of that. Yeah. So what? you like, what American food do you like? Barbecue? Uh, Not like, a huge fan of barbecue, but just like burgers. Burgers. And fries and yeah. steak. Yeah. And outbacks. I mean, like steakhouses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used yeah, to work yeah. at Texas Roadhouse. Oh. I was eating steak every day. I think American food is slept on. Yeah. Yeah. I think just America. Like, I wonder, I would like to go talk to somebody that's not from America and just see their point of views on things. Yeah. I'm like, yo, Spanish is our second language in America. Yeah. What's like the, I think English is probably the most second language for most places. Like, a, like as opposed to other things. Like, there's more English speaking for second languages than there are other languages. English is one of the hardest languages to learn. What? I thought yeah. it was an easy one. No, I, I mean, that's what I heard. Am I the only one that didn't know about that? That English is the hardest language to learn? I thought it was the easiest. What makes you say that? I thought Japanese was the hardest. No. Japan's easy. What about Chinese? Oh, China seems hard, dude. I feel Chinese is hard. You know Koreanese? Kore Wait, Korea, Korea? Mandarin is the most difficult language yeah. to learn. Is yeah. that, what is that, Chinese? It's Mandarin. Is that not Chinese? Uh, I thought Mandarin was part of China. Is there a place called Mandarin? No. No, it's just... <laughs> They have Cantonese and Mandarin. Those are the two most popular. Oh, yeah. Where? Then China. Then Polish, then Russian, yeah. then Turkish, then English. Japanese, English, English, English is one of the easiest languages. Look at you. Oh, okay, I lied. <laughs> I thought English was easy. Am I the only I one? I bet Spanish is second easiest. <laughs> the Spanish? Probably second easiest. Yeah, what is the ranking of languages easiest to hardest? Or top three easiest languages to learn? I'm thinking English, Spanish, and then Canadian, eh? Canadians just English. I don't just understand different. what they're saying sometimes. They, instead of what they say, what? Wait, a boot. A boot. A boot. Yeah. It's just different like pronunciations with words. Hmm. Hmm. Easiest languages to learn are Danish, Dutch, French, Italian, Norwegian, Portuguese, Romanian, Spanish, and Swedish. English isn't even in the top ten. Well, yeah, is it? Is an English speaker? Oh. oh, oh. Yeah. So it's difficult because if you're learning English, it is difficult because. The sounds aren't the same. This is what I heard, and a lot of people don't know this. Okay. After you learn three languages, yeah, it's easy to learn another one. Why so? Because your brain formulates and it, it understands how different things work. Because we're stuck in English, but if you know, if you learn another language and then you learn one more, then the rest are easy. I, I remember watching something, and she said that she knew like seven languages, and the first three were, I mean, the first, the second, and third were kind of tough. And after that, she picked it up within, like, months. Yeah. Question for you. Uh. What's your favorite uh, childhood food until you realized it was bad for you? Oh, Slim Jims. Is it bad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a grease stick. <laughs> it's just you open it. It's just like, oh, oh. Do you know how they make jerky? How? They yeah. just take a cow and blend it. Blend it? Yeah, they just blend the cow. And then they dry it. And they dry it. So you're, the beef jerky you're eating pretty much a hot dog it's basically a hot dog whoa you just take all the organs put it in one thing and that's what you're eating i thought that they just like it's like strips of meat and then they cure it and dry it and stuff they they blend it and then yes so, like slim jims oh but like some like beef jerkies they have the strip ones but slim jims yeah. Yeah. i feel like they just blend a whole cow slim jims are bad <laughs> they have bad. to be i haven't checked but they cannot be good for you yeah dude they you have like cow intestine in there Ooh. like cow stomach man cow i want heart. one now. <laughs> what i want to snap into a gym right now <laughs> you're are you sure you're not a cannibal dude <laughs> a slim gym okay a cow yeah 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 i can't believe you told me one time you ever go to a farm and sniff a cow and you're like mm, i'm craving beef <laughs> I didn't say that. You didn't say that. Yeah, but I didn't know it was going to be public. I sent it to a friend in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. What, what are some foods that you don't eat anymore, but you ate when you Frosted were Frosted flakes. You, why? They're it's bad? cancerous. Oh, 
Everything's cancerous these days. Yeah, but like they found a study recently. I think uh, they banned like Frosted Flakes um, and some other products because they found a, like a huge carcinogen amount in that. <sighs> You know, uh, those things are so hard because, like, you know when everybody's like, oat milk's bad, oat milk's bad. Milk? Oat milk. Oat milk, yeah. Yeah, it's a recent thing. Everybody started turning against oat milk, and then they've been going against almond milk. But when you go on Google, like, they know that, that everybody likes oat milk. They know it's a popular thing right now. Yeah. So they say, oh, it's not good for you, and they get a million views. And then you'll see other ones be like, don't believe any of these. They're just trying to get views. Oat milk's not bad. It's still one of the best options. And the same thing with almond milk. Like, when you Google something, you can find an argument that helps or is against whatever you want. It doesn't mm. matter. I can say, should, should humans wear shoes? And okay. I can find articles saying they should and some that say that you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's so hard to, like, trust TikTok. Mostly mm. is where people get their information these that's days. That's true. Uh, I said this before, people love negativity. Yeah. And it's so easy, very, very easy to latch into negativity. Mm -hmm. So if, if you, they see something bad against something, they're like, oh, yeah, true. Yeah. If you say, oat milk's bad for you now. Everyone's yeah. like, what? I drink oat milk. I got to find out why. Let me give this a view. Mm -hmm. Let me comment something. Let mm -hmm. me like this. Yeah. Let me save it and share it to my friends. Yep. It works. Dude. Yeah. I bet you we can get a very popular clip right now. Saying oatmeal is bad. This is the secret to a long life. What? Do not drink oat milk. I've been drinking it like literally the past year. Dude, Why? I'm serious. You have to stop. Why? Because the big brands, they made oat milk and they just put all these things in it that are not supposed to go in the human body. But they don't tell you that. They say, oh, another alternative. Oh, you like almond? Here's something even better. Dude, I thought that was fake because I did see an article the other day saying oat milk has a high percentage of canola oil. Yes. And yeah. that's that's why I shouldn't drink it? Yeah. Uh, then how come all these... How come everyone's drinking it? Because and they're, they're, it's it's the, the big brands, man. They're controlling everything. They're manipulating oh my all these God. things. They're, I heard... Like, I can't tell you who... But yeah. one of my TikTok friends, yes. they have over 10 million subs or followers on TikTok. Sure. And they said that they got paid to say that oat milk is good. No way. Yeah. yeah, they said they got paid. And they told me the amount. And I was like, what? I'll tell you after the podcast. But yeah. it was a crazy amount. Oh, my gosh. Is that something you should be saying in camera? What if you get in trouble? Oh. All right. Look at that. I will change. Oh, see, look. look at that. <laughs> see, I feel like you can just clip that and then it'll just be popular. Oh, yeah. And if, I swear, if this gets popular on that that clip on TikTok, then that just proves the point Yeah. that negativity, people latch onto it okay. quick without thinking or doing research about it. As soon as this pod goes up, podcast goes up, no, the day before the, this podcast goes up, we'll post that on TikTok and then look at the results. Dude. So if you're listening to this right now on Spotify or Apple Music or on YouTube, go to our TikTok and you will see how many numbers that got because we lied. Yeah. Spicy Fruit Podcast. Check it. I swear. I feel like that's going to go viral for no reason. Because it has negativity. I feel like the more we talk about this, the more I'm going to think like subconsciously, like don't drink oat milk. We're just gaslighting <laughs> ourselves, dude. What the We're heck? We're self-gaslighting. All right. Well, I didn't know oat milk was bad. Wait, is it bad? It's good. No, it's yeah. Fine. I think it's good. It's okay. Food's I don't food. know anymore. <laughs> It's just it, oats it themselves have a lot of carbs, and so they need to add a lot of sugar to make it taste good. Otherwise, it would just taste like sludge. And they do add a few additives that like are not the best. They add additives to everything. Ah, uh, all right. What are you gonna do? You know what I don't drink anymore? Milk. Why? Because it's good for your bones. No, I don't think people understand this. And when I say it, I'm gonna blow your mind because when I heard it, it blew my mind. Tell me. You ready? Yeah. Milk? Yes. Is not good for you. You know why? Why is that? Because humans are the only species in the world that drinks milk when they're not babies. Cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they drink it because, like, for yeah, they don't sure. drink it. Yeah, like they don't have to drink it. Yeah. But humans, they drink it their whole lives, and you're. It's really the base form of milk is just for Babies. infancy. Yeah, oh. 
And you know what else is crazy? What? I, th- I randomly thought out the other day. What? There is no such thing as a baby butterfly. <laughs> That's correct. There's never been a baby butterfly ever in the entire world. So, it's yeah, caterpillar, dude. But they're not babies. They're not baby butterflies. They're, they're pre-butterflies. Yeah, but still, isn't that crazy? It's called there's metamorphosis, only, Alex. I know, but there's only been adult butterflies. There's never been a baby butterfly ever. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? That is true. What? Whoa. What? That is true. Because butterflies, they lay eggs, and the eggs aren't baby butterflies. They're not. They're little worms. Yeah. <laughs> They're little caterpillars and weedles. And, and, and. That's crazy how they have to cover themselves up eventually and yeah. they become a butterfly. How does that happen? They use like webbing? They use webbing and coop themselves and then they turn. How do they even form wings into. What? I don't know, man. Ask Orochimaru. Oh my God. No, not Orochimaru. Ask Choji. He knows. Choji. Choji knows. Bro, he's been into it. Naruto, dude. He just finished the Naruto. He's in Shippuden now. Yeah. I'm all about it. Naruto. But I just finished Naruto. Yeah. I'm sad, though, because I can't watch it anymore, you know? What a drag. (laughs) (laughs) What a drag, man. It's a reference. Naruto reference. (laughs) Believe it. Believe it. (laughs) Dubbed. (laughs) (laughs) Dubbed is better than subbed. Yes, it is. I don't care who's mad about it. You're saying dubbed version of, I don't care if it's anime, but like other things, too, is better than the original native language of... A specific movie or show? Yes. Why? Because I'm a multitasker. I have ADHD. I get distracted. I can't watch the screen nonstop. And and if I look away for a second, I miss something. But if I look away for a second to go answer the door or do something, I can still hear it. I'm not lost on the plot. It's just unnecessary. And the people that are like, sub, team sub, they're only saying that because they're like, oh, it's original. I'm cooler because I listen to it in another language I don't even understand. No, it just sounds more authentic. But you don't even know what they're saying. That's why you read subtitles. It could be Korean, and you wouldn't even know. So, okay. For example, like the old Jackie Chan movies. Yeah. Right? Where they only speak uh, Mandarin or Well, that's Cantonese. different because the they can't move their... They can't change the way their mouths move. On anime, they change it for the English dub. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. So maybe no. you're right. Like, when, another thing... What did we... Oh, so, uh... Uh... Hold on. What is the one Mr. Punch Beast? Man. Did oh, it? Nope. Uh, Mr. Beast did it. It was huge on Netflix. Uh, Coco Melon. Squid Games. Squid Games. Coco Melon. I don't know. It's popular on Netflix. Squid Games. Yeah, Squid Games. That was dope. And S- movies like that are dope. Did you watch that subbed? Dubbed. Squid so, Games. Everything. I watch everything that's with live action. It's I watch in subbed. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anything anime? Yeah. Cartoon? Yeah. You watch it. I got a burp. See oat milk, man. This is why you don't drink ah. oat milk. Why'd you tell me that before? We started the podcast. Ugh. Has your music changed from when you were a kid to now? Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Because when I was a kid, I guess teenage years, I didn't start listening to music until my teenage years. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of pop punk. Yep. Um, you got me into that. Yeah. With Sugar Colt. Sugar Colt. What was the, the Fall Paper Boy. Dreams or something? Or Paper, paper Hearts? Dreams? Nope. Paper. Nope. Sugar Colt. Uh, it was paper the music hearts? video with the paper drawings moving around. They're running around. I think it was Paper Hearts. Or no, that's my American Rejects. Oh, what's it called? Uh, memory. It's memory, called Memory. Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah, yeah. Boo, Memory. Yeah, you got me into it. And Starting Line, Best of Me. That mm-hmm. was another big one. And Reliant K mm-hmm. got me into it. Mm-hmm. My, I'm pretty much the same music. Really? What do you well, listen to now? I listen to pop punk and rap wow. and hip hop, and that I still listen to all that. Oh, and wow. musicals and Disney music. I listen to all that still. I listened to this playlist on Spotify called Viral Hits. Just because mm. I want to just, you know, be in tune. Because as creators, I feel like you have to be in tune with whatever is, like, trending. And if music's trending, then it's probably trending in the pop culture world. Yeah. That's the only reason why I listen to those musics. And not oh. saying it's those music, like, in a negative context. But it's just nice to be uh, updated. Yeah. You I know? actually, I do listen to something that I didn't listen to before. Oh, 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 Hindi. Pop. Pop? No. Podcast. Podcast? <laughs> I don't know why I said pop. Podcast. Uh-huh. And I was like, I was looking for a podcast, and I was like, mm, I was looking at the rankings, and I was like, I don't want to listen to the 
podcast in the top 10 because everybody listens to that. I want my own. So then I went to the 20s or the like 10s and I was yeah. like, no. Then I went to the 20s. I was like, oh, this is still too mainstream. Yeah. Then I went to the 30s. And I was like, we're getting close. Okay. And then I found one, number 44 in the US. Okay. They only had four podcasts at the time. Okay. <laughs> Spicy Fruit Podcast, baby! We did it, baby! Number 44, ranked number 44 in all of America. On the leisure category. On the leisure category. Let's go. And we only had four podcasts. That's insane. What's it going to be when we get eight? Is it going to be, are we going to be in the 20s? I hope we're in the 30s. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited, man. And we don't have a sponsor. Look at yeah, us, dude. Not we have so one good. sponsor. Who's going to be first? I don't know. You'd figure it out. Yeah, dude. Reach out. <laughs> I'm proud. Look at us. Proud look of us. you. Look at uh, I didn't. I didn't realize people would listen to us. Yeah, I think. Yes. I don't think it's because of us. I think it's just you can tell we've been friends for 20 years, mm -hmm. and they feel like they're talking to their friends yeah. or their siblings. And like, mm -hmm. wow, did they talk just like us? Yeah, we're just relatable. I think we're relatable because, like, we're human. That is true. And they're like, whoa, I want to hear these humans talk more. And I think. Also, our new haircuts. Yeah. People just remind, it just reminds them of the old times, old wasabi times, I yeah. feel. And uh, it just hits a chord in their heart. You know, this weekend, over the weekend, mm -hmm. I got recognized so many times. Really? Because your hair? Yes. No way. At least 12 times. Whoa. Yeah. I was like, what? Why am I getting recognized all of a sudden? Then, yes, it's the hair. Was it your uh, younger fan base or were they grown up a little bit like four years ago? They both. used to watch it. Was you. Both. Oh. The younger fan base and then like young college people or yeah. people about to go to college. It was nice. Yeah. Because when I had my long hair, people would go up to me and then give me this look like, uh, it, he kind of looks like uh, Roy Wasabi or he kind of looks like Guava Juice, but I'm not sure because his hair. Now, with the short hair, it's like, that's definitely Roy Wasabi. That's definitely Guava Juice. Yeah. I rarely get stopped uh, because, especially if I'm going to, like, a populated place. Sure. I put glasses on and I'll put a hat on. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't want to see people. Yeah. I just don't want to get stopped every, every like, 20 steps. Ah. So, I, I put on glasses. I put on a hat. So, I haven't been stopped at a mall mm -hmm. in forever. And it's weird because... When I do get stopped, yeah. usually it's when I'm in a line and they hear my voice. Oh. Yeah. So they'll be in front of me and they turn around and they'll be like, Alex? And I'm like, what? And they're like, how did you know? And they're like, you're your voice. I guess I have a unique voice. <clears throat> you do have a unique voice. But uh, this weekend I went to the mall. I didn't wear glasses. I didn't wear a hat. And yep. I was like, let's see how this goes. Mm -hmm. I, got st I was there for like two hours. Probably got stopped like 10 times. Dang. Which is not that much as, as it used to be. Yeah. It used to be a lot. Oh yeah, because like now they're they're not sure. They're like, oh, I haven't seen him in like ten years or like five years. Dude, back in our peaks, I I don't want to. I hate saying this, but I I hated going to public because I yeah. just you know all you wanted to do is you know go do your thing at Target. You wanted yeah. to go to Target and shop yeah. normally. Yep. Yeah. But it's hard to do that when people keep stopping you. When we were at our peaks, remember when what? we were like, oh, I want to go to. Disney. I want to go to Six Flags. I want to go to the mall. Oh, I yeah. want to go bowling. And mm -hmm. we're like, okay, we have to go on a school day during school hours. Yeah. Because then we will be fine. Yeah, yeah. So we would like we would try to go to Disney before 3 p.m. before everybody yeah. got out. Yeah. We would try to go to the mall before 3 p.m. We would try to go. We would never go anywhere on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When most people would go. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that we had to think like that yeah. in our early 20s? It's kind of weird saying it. Kind of makes us look like we're like assholes doing it, but. Don't get us wrong. We love meeting everybody. Yeah. But... I think people understand privacy. Okay, cool. It's like, I've never said no to a picture. I've never said no I to like... I did once. Well, I mean, unless I'm in a rush somewhere. Okay. I have to get somewhere. Yeah. Is that what you... Is that what? No. I... So, one time, this fan made a huge mistake mm. when asking for a picture. Mm. Um, Personally, I don't mind. Like I said, mm -hmm. like taking pictures with fans mm -hmm. and I love doing it because without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one fan asked for a picture mm. while you know where I was on the toilet. No, uh, eating. Nope. Uh, wait, let me guess. Uh, you were, you were landing a plane because the pilot passed out and they wanted a picture while you're trying to save everybody's Very lives. Very close, close, close. Okay. I was at a funeral. 
Ooh, dang, that's awkward. I was at a funeral. Like, we, they were literally about to, like, bury the casket. Yeah. And all of a sudden I hear, hey, man, can I get a picture? Oh, it wasn't a kid? No, it was like a it teen. Was... Oh. Or a kid, I don't remember. It would make sense if it was a kid. Like, oh, sad. he doesn't understand. I was just sad that day. And then yeah. just hearing that, I'm like, oh, now's not the time. Yeah. I had to say no. Yeah. I had to say no. How did you say no? I was like, no, dude, you know where we are? That's oh. it. I walked away. Dang, I bet they think about that to this day. Yeah, probably. They, but I think they think about it as like, oh, I should not have asked a picture. Yeah, of that. yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, if, I'm probably watching. Hey, if you're watching, I'm sorry I said that. You said it at the funeral, so I, <laughs> I really did not think that was the appropriate time. So yeah. I had to say no. So yeah, that was the only time I said no to a fan, like for pictures. Man, I hope I can like hear when people talk about me when I'm dead. In my funeral, like I, I mean, not I don't want to hear it as a per- like my ear is still working on my body's dead. Yeah, <laughs> like I hope I can look down and hear all the nice things people say. Oh yeah, absolutely. Or nice look things. up. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you can. I I feel like you can die and then just chill for a little bit because you know when people die. Oh, you don't in have the operating to go right room? away. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. When people die in operating yeah. room, and they get resuscitated. Yeah. Like that's they- strange. Yeah. Yeah. They often see themselves floating over their body and they can see themselves. That's usually what people say. How long can you stay there? I don't know. Like 10 minutes. That's a good amount. But but the funeral's not going to... Funerals do happen very quick. Mm. I remember figuring that out when I was a kid. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this person died. I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, their funeral's in like uh, yeah. this weekend. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. The what? And I'm yeah. like, well, I guess they don't have anything else to do. Like, they're not busy. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's That's so sad. That's crazy. And That's it makes sense, sad. but I just never had that realization until I was like, oh, dang. It's because one moment you see them in person, and then the next week, you're in their funeral. Yeah. Is and that... then people have to fly in last minute, like, oh, this person, not... oh, I got to fly in. Yeah. That's crazy. Why is that? Is it because the body, like, Probably. rots? Yeah. And then you just got to just bury them? I'm going to I'm gonna make it so. I'm like, yo, just, like, put me on ice for, like, a, a week and a half. Don't make everybody pay those expensive last-minute plane tickets. Just get a giant freezer. I'm like, just, like, set it up like an event. Oh. I'm like, yeah, it's like a concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, everybody, come on. And then I also want to be, like, propped up so people can take a picture. Uh, like this. Stop. And then everybody can get in line and take a picture with Stop. me. Stop. I, like, I don't think your family would allow that. <laughs> it's not it's not my choice yeah but if i'm like yeah i'll put glasses on so it's not too creepy i don't think your parents would ask your mom ask your parents i'm sure they listen to this i'll ask them do you would you allow alex to be frozen and have a pose when he dies like like stuffed Hmm? like stuffed like a stuffed animal but they like freeze me up and then and Don't then, say that. Yeah, come on. You're breaking you, your mom's you, heart. Would you take a picture of me with me? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I knew it. I'd be like, yeah, hey, well, Alex. Like, hey. I mean, no, dude, you're dead. Yeah, but it's okay. It's my wish. I can do it if I want. And then you don't have to take a picture with me, but there's an option. It's mixed feelings, man, because, like, yeah, you pose, but you're also dead. So how yeah. can I be happy? And- we could take one last picture. You're, if, if, it would it be weirder if you if you if I was propped up and you came up and I did the pose where I'm pointing at you and I have my arm around you and you get in there and take a picture or would it be weirder that you get in line when I'm laying in the coffin and you take a selfie? That'd be weird. Okay, that is weird. That's weird. But All not right. if I'm propped up. It's like oh, he's already ready to go. What if they prop you up not on ice? Huh? Right? Because no, you, you just fall. Well, they can. That's like, why I said stuffed. Stuff like I'm stuffed like a like like they take away every organ and then stuff you. Yeah, I don't can't. They that's what they do anyways. Really? Yeah, they take it all out and then they like put all this stuff no on you so you don't way. Th- so you don't rot right away. You don't smell. That's why when you go up, it doesn't. It smells more like uh, it doesn't smell like dead person or like rotting anything or like roadkill. It's sm- that sounds bad to say. That feels bad to say, but it smells like clean. Am it smells I, like cleaning products. Am I the only one that didn't know that dead people have nothing inside but stuffing? Yeah, they got insulation. Like, you know, in the walls? Really? No, man. They so got the, cotton. So their organs are not inside of them? No. So so the the the, the open caskets I've been to, there's nothing inside that pot. The there's body. bones. Yeah, bones. And no then, organs, no nothing. 
No, there's there's stuff in there, oh, but yeah. it's just not. Or I don't know what they put in there. I did not know that. That's yeah. even more like morbid to think about. What do you what What if you could request to have be filled with something? What would you put in there? Lucky slime. charms, slime. Yeah, fill me with good. slime. Yeah, yeah. I would want to put all my treasures, huh? like a mummy. Oh, yeah. Then people would just grave dig and don't rob tell you. them. You're telling the world right now. No, I'm telling you. Okay. Don't rob my body, guys. Just come take a picture. Okay. Yeah. You ever think about grave digging, like robbing? No. Is it that's that's pretty messed up though? I would. Would you, like shovel and then open yeah. the casket and steal the jewelry? Yeah. Really? If there was like a mummy and nobody knew about it, and somehow I knew that there was like treasure in there, yeah, I'd probably go get it. Oh, I no, wouldn't that's like... curse. That's how you curse yourself. You go to Egypt and get like uh. Prince Pharaoh, or uh, what's his name? Prince Sacagawea's stuff? <laughs> Prince Sacagawea? Yeah, that's how you get cursed. I wouldn't, I no, no, I wouldn't take all of it. I'd take a little bit. Like the tooth? No, I wouldn't take anything from, I wouldn't mess with the body at all. I'd just take a little bit of like the diamonds they have there. What are yeah. they going to do with it? I don't know. Like, if they, I, I, I'm pretty sure if I think about it correctly. Huh? You know what, you mommy, Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, no. Speaking of Egypt, you know, I learned in the sixth grade in mm. Egypt when mm. they, um, uh, Sarcophagus people, yep. mm -hmm. they take everything but the heart. Well, they, they leave, leave the, the heart. heart in there because they say it's the most important thing in your body. They said, oh, they don't need the brain. We don't use a brain. You know how they do the brain? I remember this from when I was a kid. In Egypt? How they get rid of the brain? No. You do remember? They stick it in the ear or something? No. What? They take this tool. They stick it in your brain. They go, mm, from where? Nose. <gasps> and then they just stir it up until it turns into soup and it drains out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, but what I was saying is the reason they're buried with their treasures is so they have passage into the next life and they can pay the guy that takes them across the ferry like in Hercules. Oh. Yeah. So they already did that. So they don't need it anymore. Oh. Yeah. You know, Egypt is one of the most haunted places in the world. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Uh, did we talk about... Oh, we have a paranormal video coming out. Yeah, it's probably out. I think already. it's next. Who knows? No, no, not that. I mean, the podcast. Oh yeah, it's out already. It's already out. That's already out. It's already and out. the other video's out. Yeah, you guys should go watch that because some crazy stuff happened. Bro. I was super skeptical. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, because last last podcast we were like, well, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. All right. Uh, we're going way off topic. We're supposed to talk about favorites, but we want to update you on what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we did this thing called the Esper, the Esper method, mm -hmm. where we get a spirit box. Whoa. Whoa. The spirit followed us. We just literally heard a big thump. I think it's, what was that? It was like construction, but it also was like hardcore. Yeah. Whoa. That was weird, right on cue. All right, anyways. So we did this thing called the SPs method where we take a spirit box and what the spirit box does is it changes radio frequencies every millisecond. Yeah. And it allows the spirits to use those frequencies to speak. Yeah. And what happened the the other day when we went paranormal investigating is Alex was blindfolded. Yeah. And he had headphones that was connected to the spirit box. Yeah, and if you don't know what the spirit box sounds like, it's like when you're sifting through channels like, hi, what? Yes. So it's like just a bunch of different random words will pop out, but they, they sometimes they, they line up yep. with the question you asked and that's supposed to be the spirit. That's correct. And yeah. what happened was since Alex could not see or hear us, mm -hmm. he had an unbiased kind of point of view i didn't even know when you guys are asking questions That's i didn't know when part. i didn't know what you were saying i couldn't even hear like your voices and not be able to understand the words i just couldn't hear anything because we had it turned up all the way that's the wild part yeah and something happened that night that changed our perspective going throughout the rest of the night yeah um, at first we started the sp's method and then i asked a simple question i said hey is anyone here and then five to eight seconds later, we hear Alex. What did I say? Yes. I don't. I didn't know you. I didn't know what question you asked or when. I just was saying what I heard. At any moment, I heard something. I would say it. Uh, dude, at first I thought you were lying. 
I thought you were just messing with us. I said yes. You said yes. <laughs> I was just saying whatever I heard. And I, then, yeah. That's crazy. And then I asked another question. I was like, hey, uh, okay, do you need our help? Do you need, do you need your help? Do you need our help? What did I say? Did I say something? You said no. No. Oh, I was answering correctly. You were answering right correctly. Times, yeah. But like a little delayed. Yeah, like five seconds later. Oh. It's usually five seconds later you said something. Oh. And then this last question messed us up the rest of the night. I said, okay, do you want us to leave? Wait, should we tell them what happened or they had to go watch the video? Okay, watch the video. Watch the video, but it's crazy. That part is crazy. I, I asked that question and then Alex said something that I did not expect and it threw us off. If you're new here, this is Spice Fruit Podcast, but we're talking about videos that we do on our main channel, which is Wasabi Productions. Mm -hmm. Go there. It's a paranormal video, probably within the last two or three videos that came out. It's oh, one yeah. of those. So you'll know. So after that night, are you more susceptible and more believable? Well, it's hard to, it's hard because like. Yeah, I heard something, and it was very clear what I heard. Yeah. But it still could have been coincidence. True. It could have been, but it's just weird that it lined up so well. Mm -hmm. And I've never even heard of that method until you showed me. You're like, oh, put this on. I was mm -hmm. like, blindfold in the middle of the woods in the dark? And you're like, oh, also, you can't hear anything here. I was like, what? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, they're going to prank me. They're going to prank me. They're going to prank me. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, no. No. Um, uh, mm, yes. And that's, that's what I heard. I was just scared you guys were going to do something. Dude, every time something scary happens, I try to debunk it. Yeah. Automatically. But for that, I, I could not debunk that. I yeah. was like, oh, it could be like, uh, maybe someone was using their phone or somewhere and it like interfered with the signal. Yeah. And it said whatever it said, it did not. It was so perfect and so precise with when I asked the question and when it answered. And you can tell that like. I heard it clearly because I yeah. took my headphones yeah. off and I had to check if you guys were still there because I didn't know. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe they got up. Maybe they moved. And, and then you guys were there and I was like, oh, I heard this. And then you're like, ah! everybody, then everybody freaked out when I said what I heard. Yeah. And I didn't understand why everybody freaked out because I didn't know what the question was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody's like, go. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. That's okay. Cool. That was, that's <laughs> insane. That's insane. All right. Let's go back to our favorites. I'm getting spooked out, man. Getting a little spooked out. But. Next time we go ghost hunting, though, I want to provoke them any, even more. Like, not only do I want to hear things, like, I want to vis like, visibly see things happening. Me too. That's, like, hey, that would be cool. Can you lift up this tree? Something yeah. crazy. Yeah. <sighs> okay. What is your favorite quote? My favorite quote? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I have a couple. My, like, my favorite quote? I don't have let's like an all time one. Oh, you don't? No. I was going to say, let's start with three, two, then one. But <laughs> you don't have an all time favorite. I think no. I have an I all time think, favorite. Okay, what's your all time favorite? Oh, no, I can't start with that. Okay I'll, okay, I'll do one. The one I heard recently is pretty awesome. You are a direct reflection of the top five people you hang out with the most. That's accurate. Mm -hmm. environment you everybody's a product of their environment yeah um mine so, is or one of my favorite is if you're not smiling you're doing it wrong did you, you make that up yeah no that's a good one yeah. i heard something if you're not doing something you're doing it wrong yeah and then i was like oh smiling and then it just caught on everybody started going crazy. yeah yeah um another one is uh comparison is a thief of happiness yeah that's just one i i agree with mm-hmm and then my top one. Wait, let me say one before Go you ahead. say your top one. Go ahead. This one is very strong. So you want to know the secret to living a stress-free life? What? To control the things that you can control and for the things you can't. Let go. Let go. Don't worry about them. It's a good one. Because one, you can't control the weather. Yeah. But you can control your emotions about the weather. Yeah. You can control how you feel about the weather. You can control how you're going to go about your day with yeah. the weather. 99% of the things that people worry about are things they can't control. Yeah. Yeah. And why stress out about when you can't control it? Yeah. Just focus on something that you can. Yeah. Like people going on an airplane. They can't control whether there's turbulence. They can't control the weather or how they get up or down. Yeah. But you can control how you feel about sitting in an airplane. True. 
Yeah. You can't control your seatbelt. What? You can't control your seatbelt. You can. Put it on. Put it off. Put an extra one on. A seatbelt? Yeah. Take it off. Have yeah. fun. True. Yeah. Okay, my number one favorite. You ready? What's your number one quote? This is one I was like, dang. And mm. I think about it most yeah. mornings. Okay. You did not wake up today to be mediocre. Hmm. Yeah. You, Steve. Yeah. You woke up to be subpar. Yes. <laughs> exactly. No, you woke up to do what? No, you just, I didn't wake up today to be mediocre. I, w- I never woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be average today. Mm. No. You know, whenever I'm training, whenever I'm doing anything, uh, like running, boxing, sparring, hitting the yeah. bags, anything, I always do one more. Mm. So one more round or one more round on the bag or one more mile or whatever, because whatever I had to do, if I do one more, that's more than what everybody else did. Duh. Yep. Dang. So that's, I think that's probably why I I win my boxing matches because they think they're doing their max and I yeah. am doing my max, but I'm also doing one more of everything. They're, they're, they're doing 110. Yeah. You're doing 170. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm just always injured. <laughs> I feel like like with the other YouTube boxers, my thing is like I I'm pretty sure I have been the most injured out of all YouTube boxers. Yeah. Because I just do too much. It's probably not a good hmm. thing. But I find out where I'm weak. I find out oh my my calf is yeah. weak like cuz I had to put all my weight on my back leg. So yeah. I I work that. I fix that. I train that. And then I find out, oh, my ribs are weak, so I train my abs. I train this. Yeah. Oh, I, my neck is weak, so I do neck workouts. So yeah. I just I've been injured everywhere and everywhere. Yep. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's uh, one thing we have in common, I think. What? I don't think people understand this similarity between us. Hmm. Because you always go about how you really praise my work ethic and my mm-hmm. discipline, mm-hmm. but we are the same in this aspect. We are the same in which. When we have something we really love to do, mm-hmm. in your case, boxing, in my case, whatever passions I have at the moment, mm-hmm. we put 170% oh, yeah. into it. Yeah. I think the difference is you can do it on your own and you have the discipline to do it on your own. Even if nobody's watching, even if there's no teacher there, even if your friends don't know, mm. I prefer having someone there to make sure I'm doing it. Like I... You probably can go to the gym and work out on your own. I prefer to have a trainer there. I prefer mm-hmm. to have a coach there because I just like, what if I'm not doing it right? Or what if I, I'm doing this? Like running easy. I can do that on my own. But boxing, I don't like to hit the bag on my own. I like to have a coach there telling me, oh, you're doing this wrong. You're doing that mm-hmm. wrong because I just like to make sure I'm doing it right. But like, that, I feel like that's a reflection of our personality too. Yeah. I like being alone. You like yeah. being with people. Oh, there you go. But at the end of the day, we reach the same goal. Yeah. And I feel like that's where we have that similarity Hmm. just saying just saying just saying let's do one more favorites all right what you got for me tv shows Ooh. i watch so much tv it's not my whole life that's why when we were writing scripts younger Mm -hmm. i just would know what should happen next because or like i knew what should happen next because of tv shows so i would do something else that people wouldn't under like expect and that was like one of the main things in our videos like I never would have saw that coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but TV shows, man. Uh, growing up, my favorite shows were Monk. Monk. Psych. Psych. Scrubs. Scrubs. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. House. Mm-hmm. House was a big one. I, I've watched that a lot. Yeah. Uh, right now, Good Doctor. <laughs> Yeah. I see a lot of people making fun of Good Doctor, man, but it's good. It is good. He's smart. And I love that guy. The actor, what's his name? I don't know. He's from August Rush. That's the first time I saw him. And mm-hmm. he was, wasn't he Charlie in Charlie's Chocolate Factory in, uh, with Johnny Depp? This is one thing I'm bad at, actor names and pop culture. Oh, uh, man. You can't ask me these questions. But August Rush, have you seen it? No. Oh, Robin Williams is in it. Oh. It's so good. Oh. So good. And I think one of the guys is the guy from... Uh, victorious 
and he's popping right now as an artist and he i think he was a kid playing an artist in the sh movie oh, and he wow. was like the best one. Oh wow and then there's this little crow that kills it oh you're gonna get goosebumps you never seen august rush i did not come on i didn't start watching tv until 2008 oh man august rush is the movie oh freddie highmore mm -mm. he is the good doctor and he's so good at playing uh he's on the spectrum i don't know what is he ha i think he has uh he has autism? autism but like i think it's a specific form mm. of it i don't know but uh he's awesome i love him i love that movie i mean that show and i hate it when people talk about it no oh. they don't give it a chance i didn't start watching tv shows until netflix really the first time netflix had like a streaming service mm -hmm. that's when i went in i feel like we're gonna have different shows yeah i think so too i bet you're about to name some shows i've never even seen no you've seen these what this was the reason why I almost failed college. What? Lost. Yes. Oh, I knew you were going to say yes. that. Yes. Around the time we were in college, that was the big show. Yes. Yeah, I never watched one episode. Dude, you should watch it. It's, I heard it gets confusing. It does get confusing. That's why I loved it. Oh. Uh, I'm a big fan of, like, dark, like, dis <laughs> shows. I heard it's like, blows your mind. It's like, what? Yeah, dude. Uh, that was the reason why I almost failed college. How many seasons are there? Like four or five, I don't remember. Oh, but I would nice. stay up until four a.m. just watching Lost, and then my first class was at like seven a.m. Yeah, I would just fall asleep. I would not wake up for the seven a.m. class. This would happen in like the time span of like two months. Dang. And then I literally the end of that semester where I was watching Lost, I was in academic probation. They oh, said because you fell asleep. No, because I missed my class because I watched uh, Lost. Oh. Yeah, they said we'll give you one semester. To get your GPA above 2.5. If you, you want it. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. My GPA was like a 2.1. Oh. Just because I watched Lost so much and like skipped all my classes. You know another show that I never watched and everybody's like, what? Let me think. Mm, Breaking Bad. Yes. Really? Yeah. You'd never seen Breaking Bad? Never seen it. Huh. But... You know... Oh, I, man. You know what I've watched? I've probably watched this whole show. What? Probably like... Four times. What? Suits. Mm. And nobody knew about it. It was on USA or TNT or something on TV. Yeah. And I was like, this is the best show ever. This is my show. Barely anybody knew about it. And then Netflix took it. And everybody became number one in the country on Netflix. And it broke records. And it had 57.7 .7 billion views within last year and it broke records and i was like no now everybody knows my show now i can't be like hey you want to know a good show suits because they're like oh i already watched that mm. for like 10 years i was able to be like hey you guys should watch this Dang. but now i can't say that anymore because they because they became mainstream so they tried gatekeeping suits i did for that reason it was my show and it was so good <laughs> And now everybody's uh, seen it. Everybody loves it. I'm like, how did it not blow up when Meghan Markle became a princess? Like, I thought everybody would have jumped on it. Yeah. Nobody. She wow. does great in it too. No, no one knew about suits. People knew, but it wasn't like um, like a like a. Like now. nobody was making TikToks about it, or no, but now everybody's talking about it. Everybody's posting it. The cast got back together after like ten years or whatever, and they're doing tours. They're doing. And I'm like, oh, I'm glad for them, but dang it. Dang, this is, this is like, I've yeah. never seen you so upset about a TV show. Same with Hunger Games, man. They made the movies. I was like, no. And the character didn't freaking look like what I thought she looked like in my head. And that made me upset. The books? Yeah, the books. When you read the books, you form these characters. That's what I said about head. Harry Potter. I was like, why isn't Harry Potter Filipino? <laughs> I was like, why is he British? <laughs> yeah. Are they all British or are there any American? No. None? No. Is there like a American Hogwarts? Uh, the White House. See you guys next Monday. All right. I'm Roy. I'm Alex. See you Monday. Oh, well, make sure to give us a five star on Spotify yeah. and Apple Podcasts. We what would are appreciate we it. talk about, man? I never know. I feel like we briefly covered favorites today. <laughs> My favorite gaming, by the way, my favorite game is Super Smash Brothers. What's yours, Alex? Mario Kart. All right. Wait, let's just go through this real quick. Okay, 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 okay. All right, All right this is a speed round. Okay, speed round. We're speed not round. done yet. We're not done yet. Okay, here we go. Favorite fast food? Wendy's. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Uh, favorite dessert? Flan. Whoa, me creme too. Creme brulee. Oh, creme brulee? Yeah. I say ice cream. Ice okay. cream, I lied. Favorite anime? 
I gotta think about it. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. top three My animes. Hero. Top oh, three. Top three. We don't have time. No order. No order. We got this. Okay, Dragon Ball Super, My Hero, Academia, uh-huh. and uh, Naruto. Okay, mine is Naruto, One Piece, and Haikyuu. Hmm. What is your favorite hobby? Boxing. Uh, running. All right. Done. We did it. Done. That's it. I'm Roy. I'm Alex. See you next Monday. Bye all. Okay. Bye. Bye.